The PlayStation console was originally released in 1994 and was a breakthrough in both technology and game content. It was the true next-generation console that attracted a somewhat older audience that had grown up with Nintendo products. Today we have the PlayStation Classic, a smaller version of the original console packed with 20 games built into the system. But does the PlayStation Classic live up to the hype of other retro consoles such as the SNES Classic? Let's find out. The PlayStation Classic ships in a small box that looks similar to the original 1994 box. Upon opening the box, you'll find the system itself, a HDMI cable, a USB cable, two controllers and an instruction manual. I like how the Classic looks. The printing on the buttons isn't smudged and pressing the buttons feels just like the original. Of course, pressing the open button doesn't open the disc lid. When you compare the size of the system to a CD, you can tell that this simply wouldn't work. I would have liked to see the lid open and maybe have some hidden content, but this would likely just cause confusion. The expansion port on the back is also there, but once again it's just for show and doesn't actually open. Initial setup is easy. Simply plug the cables into the system and feed those cables into your television. Sony made it perfectly clear that the system doesn't ship with an AC adapter, so you'll need to supply this. Most TVs come with the USB port, however, on the three TVs that I tested this with, none of them power the system properly. A smartphone power adapter works just fine. The USB cable, as with most, doesn't fit perfectly into the back of the system. You'll probably turn it around a few times before getting it right. The controller looks just like the original one and has the same reassuring grip. The buttons have a damp click when pressed and don't wobble around freely. It doesn't feel cheap, however it does feel somewhat lighter than the original. The controller has a USB adapter on it and can be used with a computer. Surprisingly, an extra controller is included. When powering on the system for the first time, you'll be presented with a modified version of the original boot screen. The user interface has a look and feel that pays homage to the original. It's a combination of new and old. Navigating through the games is easy. Simply press right or left and select a game. When you're done playing a game, simply press the reset button and a save point will be created. Be careful at this point because you'll be asked if you want to overwrite the existing save state and the default answer is no. The interface is simple, but why complicate it when you simply want to play a game? The best part about the interface? It will never be updated, meaning you'll never have to sit through a lengthy update process. The selection of games is excellent. Notably, Metal Gear Solid, Final Fantasy VII, and Resident Evil alone make this console worth the purchase. Although some of the games have not dated well, this is to be expected. Many of the games, such as Cool Borders and Jumping Flash, were released at a time when 3D games were new. The blocky look isn't helped with the clarity of today's high-definition televisions. The games look great in the 90s on a CRT television compared to preceding consoles and technologies. The gameplay of each game hasn't changed, although some games are the European version, such as Resident Evil, and will run slightly slower than the US version. A variety of 2D games, such as Mr. Driller, Abe's Odyssey, and Super Puzzle Fighter have aged really well. Some games seem to have a black bar just above the top. It doesn't interfere with the game, but it is noticeable at first. As for the future of the console, it's already possible to load games via the front USB port, which will satisfy those looking to play classics such as Castlevania, Tomb Raider, and the Crash Bandicoot series. It's early on in the hacking phase of the PS1 Classic, but the possibilities are limitless given how easy it is to sideload games and the impressive specs of the machine itself. In the meantime, there's plenty of games to keep one or two gamers busy for at least a few hours. Overall, the PlayStation Classic delivers an excellent gaming experience. The great control, selection of games, and save feature give gamers young and old a look into the unique era of 90s gaming technology.